Brian Nathan was talking about public libraries, but he did a lot of work in academic libraries and the rules aren't written for in a public library adoption. And, and a lot of my work is to try and break down what I consider artificial distinctions. Um, you know, New York Public Library has much more in common with a R1 research university like the University of Texas than it does with right. Gerald Community Public Library. Likewise, Austin Community College has a lot more in common with Gerald than it does otherwise. And so um, I wanted to be really clear that when I say the word community, that can be a community of scholars, it can be a community of doctors, a community of lawyers, it can be a community that is two things define a community. One, a known common variable. They're all working here. We all live here. We all study here. We all do business here. And a system to distribute scarce resources, which can be time, can be money, can be real estate, can be tax dollars, can be tuition dollars, what have you. And that means there's that's going to imply governance and et cetera. And so, yeah, the mission of librarian to approve um, society, whether you're doing that in an academic library or a government library or a medical library. <music>